Do you hate the pain and inconvenience of being on crutches? Do you miss the simple everyday things you just can't do anymore? Like playing with a loved one or carrying a cup of coffee? Hi, I'm Kelly Roberts and I'm here to help you regain your freedom and take back your life with the iWalk 2.0. The iWalk 2.0 is an amazing hands-free mobility device engineered to transfer the stress and strain of walking from your hands and wrists to your legs leaving your hands and arms free to help you with the tasks of everyday life. Now I'm going to show you how fast and easy it is to assemble and fit your iWalk. There are no tools required and it only takes a couple of minutes. So follow along and I promise to have you iWalking in no time. First, let's separate and identify the parts of your iWalk. This is what it looks like when you take it out of the box. You'll notice that the iWalk has three main sections, two support tubes and a bag of loose parts. The main sections of the iWalk are the upper assembly, which features a handle, thigh supports, a knee strap, and two telescoping height adjustment tubes. The middle assembly, which has the knee platform, that's the part you kneel on, and two of the three straps. And then there's the lower assembly, where you'll find the height adjustment tubes, a clamp, and the foot. There's only a few more parts to the iWalk these two support tubes, and inside the bag, you'll find a third strap, a couple of thumb screws, and a clamp nut and bolt. So we've identified the parts, now it's time to assemble your iWalk. Start by putting the upper assembly into the middle assembly. Make sure the handle is facing forward and just slip the two tubes into the sockets of the knee platform. See the holes near the bottom of the sockets? On the left side, you might need to rotate the lower tube to get them to line up. Next, we install the support tubes. Notice on the right side of the tube has a little R stamped near the top. We'll do that one first. Just line it up with the bottom socket of the knee platform. Push in the spring heads and it fits right in. It's secure when the head snaps into the hole. This locks the upper tube, the knee platform and the support tube together. Test it by pushing and pulling on the tube. It shouldn't disengage. Then do the same thing with the left support tube. Now we put the lower assembly into the large socket of the underside of the knee platform. It snaps in the same way. Just push in the spring heads, insert the tube into the socket. I'm going to test it by pulling on it to make sure it won't disengage. The next step is to install the support tube into the clamp. Sandwich the clamp between the ends of the support tubes like this. Then I align the holes using just a little bit of pressure. Slip the T-head bolt right through them. Then thread on the T-head nut, but leave it loose for now. Next, we're going back to the top of the crutch and connect the thigh supports to the handle. All we do is take these thumb screws and drop them through the slot on the top of the handle. See this threaded part sticking out? There's a hole in the top of the thigh support. Line it up and thread it into the bolt hidden under the surface of the thigh support. Leave it loose for now. Make sure you can rotate the support in and out. Now do the same for the other side. And the last step, installing the straps. The first two are already installed on the knee platform and the last one goes on the thigh supports. All you do is line up the T-lock buckle of the strap with the T-post on the crutch. Slip it on, pull it back, and you're done. By the way, the black buckle belongs on the inside of your leg. The gray one goes to the outside. If your crutch has a strap with a white Velcro strip on the end of the strap, make sure that that is the one installed on the front of the knee platform. That's all there is to it. I told you it was easy. Your iWalk is assembled. Keep in mind that if you ever have to disassemble your iWalk, let's say to fit it into an airplane's overhead storage bin, taking it apart is pretty much the reverse of putting it together. It's quick and easy. If you have difficulty pressing the spring heads, the iWalk has conveniently provided you with a tool to assist you. Just remove the bolt and use it to press down the spring heads. Now before you start iWalking, check out the next video where I help you custom fit your iWalk to assure maximum comfort and safety.